guys, what is with me being in full hibernation mode? Don't even know. I know the answer to that. It's literally January. It's Saturday. It's literally Saturday night. It's half six on a Saturday night and all I want to do is stay in my fluffy pyjamas and watch Wednesday Adams. I think I'm finding dry January like really easy. See when the weather's like this, when you can hear the wind and the rain outside, nothing can make me want to go out there. Except actually this is what can make me want to potentially go out there. My friend has a hot tub and that's where I'm going tonight. Although I need to psych myself up because right now I don't want to get ready. I don't even know. Should I get ready? I'm literally going to her house to make tacos and go in a hot tub. I don't need to put makeup on for that. Let me ring her. Also, can we just talk about the fact she has a hot tub? If I had a hot tub, I'd be in it every day. Hi. Are you like, are you going to be looking nice? Like makeup? Are you put makeup on? I'll put a bit on, yeah. Okay. okay, I'm gonna do a light beat. Oh my god, by the way, I've been obsessed with coconut water recently. Big fat glass of coconut water. It's so nice with loads of ice in it. It reminds me of being in Thailand on the beach, except I'm not drinking it out of a fresh coconut. And I'm in Belfast. Do you know what? See, for nights like this, I normally wouldn't put on makeup, but this dermatitis situation, it's really knocking the confidence. I only started taking my antibiotics stupidly like a week ago. Should have started them literally the second it was like New Year's Day. I left it a week because I was like, Maybe I'll see if I can try and heal this myself. And then I was like, what the fuck am I doing? I'm never going to get rid of this myself. I literally have to take antibiotics for it. So yeah, I've been taking them for a week. Today was the first day I actually saw an improvement in it. Although it probably doesn't look it on camera. And I'm not showing you a close up because it's actually horrible. Stop mascara kind of stuff. It's the Seattle London Wonder Wand one. I'm impressed. This is my playlist for when I'm not in the mood and I need to psych myself up. It's called Let's Get Feral. If you want me to make a public, I will. Okay, this is the fit. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, guys. It's got like, it's like three different aesthetics in one. Actually, no, it's not. I kind of like this outfit. I think I'm nearly there, but that was low-key and really stressful dry. Turn left onto Seago. I forgot to change my Surrey to not be Australian when I left Australia. And I kind of like it. One kilometer. Yeah, I hate driving in the dark. I don't know about anyone else. It really, it kind of freaks me out, to be honest. Hey, okay, ladies, now let's get information. Play trick, are you getting eliminated? All right. And do your job. Herb is the name. At the next traffic light. Check you and me. And do your job. You and me, leave me. I go hard. In the booth, biggie fights. Give me the loot. It won't rhyme with Minaj. Name Raphael up to the chain. Google Maps said that was meant to be a 33 minute drive and that just took me 45, 50? Wait, I don't know. She a big old freak cause I'm mad that I Oh, that's you! I've arrived! Wait, how long did that take me? I left those at 35 past, it's now quarter past. 25 plus 15, somebody do the math. 40 minutes, okay that's not that bad. It's only five minutes behind Google Maps. I'm kind of proud of myself. <laughs> this dog. <laughs> Teddy! Hi! <laughs> Look how small he is. your friend? This is his little ramp to run up to the sofa. <laughs> this is my drink of choice for the night. It is the Nosecco sparkling rose. Yeah, I tried the regular Nosecco, like just the 0% Prosecco. I wasn't a huge fan of the regular Nosecco. I preferred the Frexinet one. I thought the Nosecco one tasted like schlur. Mm, that tastes like schlur as well. This tastes like the, the red schlur, but it is nice. And I'm there drinking and I feel like it's nice to have like feel like I'm having a wee drink with them. I'm gonna go in the hot tub now. They literally just went in the hot tub. <laughs> it's really cold. Oh my god. Well this is Why is he obsessed with me? The music? Can I go to sleep time? No. Can we watch, can we listen to Miley Cyrus? Can I? No, why? He's like, he's so oh my god, she, she's my ultimate oh, she's so hot, girl crush. I fancy her so much. So Apparently is where he cheated on her with 14 girls. 
What? I didn't know this either. I saw this on the TikTok, so it's not really. Um, oh no! I, I, was trying to, I was trying to hold off from washing my hair because I ordered that like rosemary oil thing from the TikTok shop. So I was thinking I could do like an oil mask scalp massage thing before I wash my hair. But like, look at the state of it. I think I desperately need to wash it today. I don't know if I can wait any longer. I'm gonna put a hair mask in it though for the sake of slicking it back because I want to go out for coffee. And I can't be bothered washing it right now. So yeah, we're gonna use the Garnier Hair Food Banana and Shea Butter mask. I used this last week. It was really nice. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Thank you. Oh my god. Can you pass me the tater top? I wanna... Oh. They're like wee mini hash browns. Oh my god, they're great. This has just been such a nice weekend. I've been eating my way around Belfast. Like, all I have done this weekend is just go from coffee shop to coffee shop and just getting sweet treat after sweet treat, and it's honestly been divine. When I was on Lisbon Road today, I stopped in Holland and Bar on Tesco's to get some, like, I'm into gut health at the minute, so I was getting some, like, fermented shit, right? So we got some sauerkraut from Tesco's. And we got some miso paste. I'm gonna have miso soup. And then I got some kombucha. I wanna get, like, a big crate of kombucha, but I just got one for now. And then I also got these D Manos tablets. I don't know if anyone's heard of these, but they're meant to be really good at just like for urinary tract health. <laughs> for preventing UTIs and just for general health down there. So I figured, fuck it, I'll get these. I couldn't decide whether to get these or the cranberry tablets. And then quick Google search when I was in Holland and Bar, I discovered apparently these are more highly recommended. There's more research done on them. I really want to go pick up. Do you remember in the last vlog, or it might have been the one before that, and we were doing the workshop where we were painting our little boob mugs and they are all glazed and ready to be collected. So she said we can come get them today. I'm gonna give her a message now and see if it would suit for us to pop around now. And hopefully my mum can come with me and we can go see them. I'm really excited I'll bring you with us. Through the, the process on camera. Wait, we start over here, don't we? Yeah. So we start over here on the wheel. This is where I make these. <laughs> So basically, I am throwing them up like this, and these are my little calibers, so they measure where I need to throw to. Why do you have the little scraping things on? What no, scraping things? See, on, no, see on the mug? Yeah. Those. Oh, this is for me, I'm attaching these boobs. Oh. Uh. So this here is called cross hatch and stick. Uh -huh. So basically, I have to do the same cross and cross the other way, mm -hmm. and then I add this material, which is basically clay particles all mashed up with added water yeah and it makes like a glue in pottery turn this onto this onto this stick it on smooth it out it needs loads of compression and then i use this little tool here to smooth out this bit go underneath make sure there's no cracks and then i do the nipples with this little tool oh Let's see i really want to try actually throwing Oh, I would love to do I like know. a class or like, I don't yeah. know, you don't see too many of them though. No, There's Matilda. Oh, well, hi. This, this isn't actually our cat, by the way. <laughs> Whose cat is she? We have no idea. Oh. <laughs> you just decided to call her Matilda? Yeah, hi, we, we Matilda. Her Matilda. Hello. Very friendly and gorgeous. So friendly. So it dries so in dry this. under plastic. So this is what I was making the past few days. Mm-hmm. Calm, Calm your tits. Your tits. <laughs> Love that. Dry it under here for probably three days until the handle gets the same temperature as the actual mug itself. Because if they're not the same temperature, then that's when cracks happen. Let air release every three days until it starts getting to this material and then pull it all off all together. They go into the kiln, go into this material, goes to 1000 degrees Celsius. This is where you can add your paint, your underglazes, and then it goes back into the kiln and then it comes all glossy like this. Oh. So that's the process. It's a very long process. Yeah. Do you want to go in the you wear an apron? I go now. Do you want to? Can I? Well, if you want, you can wear an apron if you want. Got a little impromptu pottery making class happening. Here we go, Emma. Right, so go. what you're going to do. Here's your little foot pedal. Got a mirror there as well, so you'll be able to see like what, what's happening whenever you start doing it. You can do this, you can slam your clay in the middle. And my end's really bad. Mm -hmm. You wet your hands in this. Then you want to basically cup your hands around it. Okay. A little surprise lesson. You want to cry? Yeah, how are you? It's really hard. You like it too, though. Yeah, it's fun. I couldn't get it at all. Like, but that's good. Yeah, <laughs> cooling up basically means 
you're squeezing in with your hands and, and raising it up in the air a little bit. Probably need to squeeze it more than you think. Okay. Yeah, squeeze it up into a little cone. Okay, oh! Okay, try and steady your hands and that can bring it back to, and then when you're at the top, gently release. Oh, oh, oh it's no. all good, don't worry. <laughs> so, keeping this here. Yeah, and then karate chop with your other hand. Yeah, you're doing it. Woohoo! And then more and more and more down to the bottom. Kind of burnt your hand. It does. Because basically what you're doing is um, you're wedging the clay. So that basically means you're like welding all the particles together. So you have to go bring it up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down a couple of times. Yeah. Okay, so oh. this is going to be called opening up. So you're going to get on this again. You're going to stick two fingers in there and then you're going to basically pull back. So you can go in. In the middle? Fingers. Yeah, in the middle. Oh! Because oh, that's going to feel quite wobbly now because you've sort of... Yeah. Honestly, anything throws it off centre is the most annoying thing. Oh my god. It's so no hard. Way. Oh my god, how do you, you make that look so easy? Right, so now and then you are out. going to pull out, yeah. So go in and gently pull out. Go firmer than you think. Going out. Now we're going to pull the edges, which is the most fun part. Okay. You're going to go in with two fingers on the inside and two fingers on the outside. Squeeze it in like a little triangle. Remember your little triangle shape. <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm very good at this. <laughs> yeah, that's so fun. Wow. Yours is class. Oh my god. That's pretty good. Yeah, so well. <laughs> fixation at the minute with fried banana peanut butter and jam look at the fried banana you fry it in coconut oil with a cinnamon and nutmeg this is the finished result good morning i forgot to tell you what we were doing yesterday so basically me and Aoife have started the new shreddy shreddy do like challenges like three or four times a year and this is their like new year challenge if you're not familiar with shreddy it's basically like a workout app they're the same ones that do like the supplements, like the really nice protein bars and stuff that I always eat. We've chosen the balance guide, which to be honest, I don't know why I haven't done the balance guide before. Like it's so up my street. You can choose whether you do three, four or five days. I've done the five days on the app, but like I'm not gonna do five days every week. I've just done that. So I've got like the five day options and the five days are split up into one upper body day, one lower body day, one resistance band Pilates class, one yoga flow and one like meditation slash yin yoga i thought that was quite good because like do you know what see the like strong and transform guides that you can also pick they're really intimidating because it's like full-blown workouts every day whereas i like this it's like switching it up a little bit i don't like to be lifting weights too often because i hate being sore all the time whereas this way i'll get the upper and lower body days done on monday and tuesday and then it just means I have the rest of the week to play with. I can still go to like my yoga classes that I go to. But then also incorporate the ones that they've got. Which is kind of good. So yeah, we're back at the gym today. We're going to do, we did upper body yesterday. We're going to do lower body today. No, I can't do this. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Watch me. Tell me if I'm doing it wrong. Yeah! We've got another one of these! No, we don't! We do! Oh, fuck <laughs> I have rediscovered Weedabix with sugar and hot milk. 
Oh my god. I just love the way it all melts together. It reminds me of being a kid coming home from swimming lessons and having sugary hot Weetabix. Mmm. There's probably no nutritional value in a breakfast like this, but I actually don't care. It is so good. <laughs> Last time I spoke to you was like two days ago. Sorry, I've been really bad at keeping you up to date in this vlog. But after me and Aoife did our workout, we actually recorded a podcast together and it was so funny. It's essentially an hour of us laughing the whole time. But yeah, we were basically talking about... I didn't know what to call them, but... Because they're not trends as such. But you know the way on TikTok, different things like always kind of come up. Like recurring things come up again and again of stuff to do with like relationships and like theories about men. Like the whole if you wanted to, you would. That comes up on my free page like literally five times a day and then there's this whole thing like about the proximity and timing how men marry like what's in front of them when they're ready as opposed to like the love of their life there was another one that i saw recently about like men needing space to fall in love whereas women need to need to spend like quality time with someone to fall in love i don't know i'm not saying any of these things are true they're all just kind of like theories that come up in my tiktok and we were just discussing them on the podcast yeah it was really good actually i think it should be out by the time you're watching this my mum really randomly picked up these just roll cinnamon swirl things i think i'm gonna make them once i finish my breakfast i'm an absolute whore for a good cinnamon swirl they're like my favorite pastry Try bake, whatever you want to call it. That was literally the easiest thing I've ever done. It just comes pre-rolled with all the cinnamon inside it and you just chop it up and then bake it for 10 minutes. And then you get fresh cinnamon rolls. Oh my God, I'm so excited. That is honestly, that and the pan of chocolate versions of them from the We Just Roll kits are, that's the height of my baking. I'm not a baker. I literally am obsessed with cooking, but baking, no, it's not a bit of me. The fact that like, if you fuck up, one tiny bit it affects your whole recipe really bothers me okay i think they're done the time's not up in them yet but they look like they're about to run right i'm gonna get them on. as delicious as they look i'm actually a bit fuming i like my pastry a lot lighter than that i don't like a crunch i like a soft bake so that's ruined my day let's do a taste test it said on the packet if you want to make them like nice and glazed heat up a little bit of jam it said apricot jam but i don't have apricot jam swirl it around over the top of them before you put the icing on so I did it with fig jam, and it made them look really delicious. Mm. To be fair, the middle's still nice and soft, it's just the outside. I think just like one minute less would have been good. Still really good. Would be really nice to heat it up in the microwave for just like 15 seconds. I think I'm gonna do that with my next one. Oh my God, I just got icing all on my trousers. My clean trousers that I'm about to go out in. Okay guys, I'm gonna round up the vlog there. I literally don't know what this vlog has even consisted of. Basically just me fucking about for a week saying that I'm getting my life together apparently. If I was actually getting my life together, I would be spending this week writing my dissertation. But here I am prioritizing everything else over it. <laughs> and of course it's only me that's gonna suffer the consequences of my own actions. Can't wait for that. Yeah, maybe next week I'll consider doing what I actually need to get done. But for now, this is my version of getting my life together. <laughs> I can't believe that literally in one of the first clips of this video, I was talking about how much I needed to wash my hair. That was on Sunday. Here I am, it's Thursday, and I still haven't washed my hair. I'm a disgrace. I call my new jacket. It's secondhand, Miss 60. I'm obsessed with it. Oh my God, I had sugar on my lips that whole time if you made it this far thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye